you're a limited company, you've got to have a central point where the government can contact you and central um, can centralise where your post goes. So your trading address is where you, you're, you're trading from, it's where customers come, but a registered office is, is somewhere where where the you know this is where the files are kept. This is where the all, all the important stuffs kept. And if you've got a um, a central, if you've got if you're a limited company, you have to have a registered office. It doesn't need to be at the trader's address. It, so you you can have it anywhere. I mean, I, 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 a lot of clients use us as their their registered address which is great for them because the post comes to us, we can sort it. And if it is anything of, of any importance that is attended to, at least we can make sure it's, it's, it's dealt with. The downside for us is that some people don't pay the bills and the, the bailiffs come to the registered office. So we've, we've had so many bailiffs come down because clients have not been paying bills that now what we've done, we've actually hired an office which, which can be used as a registered address. So at least it buffers us from all the hassle of of discussions with bailers that we are not them so you know but yeah you, you don't need to use a, a registered office unless you're a limited company it can be a trading address and it's useful even if you're not a limited company to have a central point of a post in case you know especially if you've got two three or more shops